Hey guys, it is Erin or Gimme Yarn 418 and I am here to share with you some of the crafty things that I received for Christmas. Um, it is New Year's Eve, so the last day that the tree is up. And I thought it would be the perfect time to share with you. I got some really amazing gifts this year, um, which I'm super appreciative for. So let's jump right into it. Um, the first thing is a silly little thing that was in my stocking, and it is, I haven't used it yet obviously, the Ugly Sweater Cookie Decorating Kit, which is really awesome. I don't know that I would use those icings, but the cookie cutter is awesome in and of itself. Oh, and I just noticed that the, the sprinkles, the jimmies, I don't know what you call them, I call them jimmies, that's a New England thing. Um, a lot of people call them sprinkles. I don't know what else they're called. Anyway, they're candy cane shaped. So that was awesome. Um, some kinda crafty things, but things that I love were puzzles. I got a couple puzzles. The first one I got was the Thomas Kincaid Beauty and the Beast puzzle. Uh, it's called Beauty and the Beast Falling in Love. Which Beauty and the Beast is my favorite movie, if you didn't know that. Um, and another one of my favorites, which you all know I know, is Batman. I got a Batman puzzle. Both are a thousand pieces. This one I have started. So, I'm not too, too far in that, but put these over here. Because I'm sure you want to show them what you got. What'd you get? Max got a flashing ball for Christmas. And he loves it. Everybody loves it. Yes, you saying hi? Um, next, next, next. Again, not quite crafty, but crafty at the same time because of the, the, um, subject matter is I got a board game from Kristen, which we haven't played yet. Um, I haven't told her yet, but she's going to play with me tomorrow night. Um, because she has the day off. And this is Battle Sheep, Flocks to Greener Pastures. Um, this is kind of a combination of, I had never heard of it, so I looked it up on YouTube. It's a combination of Blocus. And what I would assume is Risk. I've never played Risk, but it's kind of like that. Uh, Blocus in that you want to block people's paths, and Risk in that you need to cover as much territory as possible. So, I'm um, interested to play this game. It looked like a lot of fun with the YouTube video that I watched on it. And um, I'm prepared, I'm, I'm looking forward to beating Kristen. No, I'm not a sore loser, if I, but I just want to play. I love board games. Um, next up was some gifts from our nieces. Uh, the first was to Kristen, and this made me tear up. Um, this teeny tiny felted chihuahua in a sweater. It reminded me so much of Mia. And for me, they made me a pair of pink mittens, but not just any pink mittens. Wait until you see these. Um, they're adorable. I think, I think this is Red Heart Super Saver in the shocking pink color. They have little um, paw prints on the hands. Aren't those so cute? And they have buttons and lovely. So those were very awesome. Just checking in here if there's anything else. Gotta put those away because those are sure to be stolen by two naughty Bernie's Mountain Dogs if, if they're not properly taken care of. Also, um, I mention this pretty often and I, it's in my um, non-yarn crafty non-yarn knitting and crochet tools, my favorite things, um, which I think I'm going to try and do another, a new one of those in 2016, and that is my Gardener's Hand Therapy. This is the only lotion I use. This bottle will last me the entire year because you need so little. It might last me a little longer than a year. I think the last one I bought last October, so um, it's it can be expensive, but if you buy it on Amazon with Prime, you get free shipping, and like I said, it lasts the entire year, for me. And it doesn't wash off, and it's not greasy. Excuse me. Next were some pens. I 
think these are also in my favorite things, my non-yarn favorite things video. Um, but they're the highlighters. These are the pens. I use these for um, sewing. They are the Frixion clicker pens. Um, I've never had the ones with the clickers before. I'm noticing I'm saying I'm a lot, so I apologize for that. But I, I really want, want to try them. All my Frixions are dead. I've had them for about a year and a half. The great thing about these is that if you hit it with an iron, it's gone. It, it disappears. So I use them to mark anything that I'm sewing. They are again a little bit on the pricier side for pens, but considering what you can do with them, they're great. I prefer those to a water soluble pen. The next thing I received was this, and you're probably saying, what the heck is that? Well, this is from Ikea, and it's awesome. It is um, an octopus with hooks, and this was on my wish list because it's perfect for hanging your socks up to dry because there's two on every leg, so a pair per leg, and I've already tried it out, and it's even more awesome than I thought it would be. So again, not, not completely a crafty item, a craft item, but definitely great for a crafty person. Maybe I should put this in my my favorite things video. I don't know. And finally, I received a few books. This one was from Dewey because Dewey is the crafting chihuahua. And if you don't know, Dewey has his own Instagram account now. It's Dewey the Crafty Chihuahua. Um, so you should check that out. This is a knitting book. It's by Susan B. Anderson, who is my one of my favorites. I have all of her books. It's a knit and read book. I haven't really had the chance to look through this yet, but it's Bud and Chloe at the farm. And there's a sheep. There's actually another sheep back here. And then there's Chloe. I'm, I'm assuming this is Spud. And then there's the entire farm inside. Uh, let me see if I can find you some. There's actually the farmhouse with the chicken and the eggs. The barn, I guess is what they call it. <clears throat> Excuse me. The barn cat. little pig. So all the farmyard farm yard animals. Aminals? Animals. My goodness. Um, so I'm really excited about this. Probably going to do some of these for myself and potentially some of these for Sadie. Next was Arnie and Carlos. You guys know how I feel about Arnie and Carlos. 30 slippers to knit and felt. Um, again, I haven't had too much of a chance to look through this, but it was on my wish list. I love everything that Arnie and Carlos comes out with, so I'm sure this will be no exception. These are really cute. They're little ankle slippers. That's cute. Oh, those are felted. Oh, these are cute too. I'm trying to find a picture without giving away the pattern. These are like little booties, felted socks almost. Here's a great picture. Oh, these are wonderful. I might need to knit those. Okay, these ones here, here, these gray ones with the pom-poms remind me of my elementary school gym teacher. She had pom-poms on all our socks. <clears throat> so there's that. I'm really excited about that. And Mosaic Knitting by Barbara G. Walker. If you remember the skull socks I knit, Paro Normal, were mosaic knitting. It was the first time I had ever done it, and I loved it. I thought it was so much fun. I thought it was amazing to see the picture come to life. So I'm really excited for this. The next book I received, I think came out about a year ago. I think it came out for Christmas last year, if not the year before that. And it is Amigurumi, and it is awesome. It shows you how to make all different types of characters, and pretty much how to make any person. It's, it's pretty much how to make an amigurumi of pretty much any person you can think of. It shows you how to construct different body types, muscles, hair, mouths, noses, things like that. It's really awesome and as you see there's uh, Mr. T, Willie Nelson, and Tina Turner on the cover. And inside there are a couple more. Lucille Ball is one that I see right off the top of my head. 
this is great. This is going to be awesome. Uh, I might have to knit myself a Richard Simmons, just to say I have. Or crochet, I'm sorry. And last but certainly not least is Sock Architecture. Uh, this book has fascinated me since the day it came out. I know there's a craftsy class for this also. Oh, look at this. Here is a list of, I didn't, I haven't had too much time to look through, through these things, all the different socks in the book. This book also gives you a plethora of knowledge. There are so many toes and so many heels in this book. It's a great overall um, resource for sock knitting. There's things about measuring your foot. There's any heel or toe you can possibly think of, I think, is in here. There's what needles you should use, grafting. It's just, it's going to be a great resource. So, like I said, I probably should be knitting about 48 hours a day, and then I'll be able to use everything. I was very spoiled, and I am very grateful, and I hope you guys all had a wonderful Christmas too. Ours was pretty fantastic. We, on Christmas Day, were home and had some company over for dinner, had a lovely dinner, and then we celebrated again this past Sunday with family. And again, it was great. We had a lovely dinner with family, and now it's all over. Tomorrow the tree comes down. I take the tree down on January 1st every year. Christmas, Christmas is over in my house on January 1st. It starts on the day after Thanksgiving, so yeah. I will be sad to see it go because this is the most gorgeous tree we've ever had. It is enormous, um, and it's bushy, and it's very wide. Um, you cannot see from the couch around the tree, <laughs> which is fine. It's it's really, it, it's the most perfect tree we've ever had. So, Well, I think I'm going to stop blabbering and let you go. I hope you're all doing well. I will be back tomorrow with a TGIF video. And until then, I hope you're doing really great. All right, bye-bye.